Welcome everyone. I'm Paul Wins, co-founder and CEO of FlexAir. We're a flight school for veterans and anyone who's aspiring to a career in aviation. I'm hosting a special edition of the FlexAir SkillBridge webinar. Normally we have this briefing once a month, but we're having a special uh, edition recorded for anyone in any time zone, no matter where you are, uh, so you can get a listen and get some good information about our SkillBridge program. FlexAir SkillBridge is about delivering airline careers to veterans with no prior flight experience required. Our team also includes Leah Canos, who is our student success manager, and Michelle Anderson, who is our sales and recruiting manager. So let's get to it. Now, the first thing to remember is that there has never been a better time to become an airline pilot. And that's whether your interest is in flying as a regional, a corporate, or a charter pilot. All of these companies are hiring, and that is because it's a demographic issue. Almost half of all airline pilots that are flying right now today are going to have to retire within the decade. So that has led to a shortage of pilots and much, much higher uh, salaries for pilots across the board. You can expect to see starting pay at just about any airline be $95,000 or more. But there's a downside to this. It is expensive to get good flight training, and it's tricky to use your VA benefits in the right way so you can get the most out of your benefits. And then you also need to consider your work-life balance, both when you're working in the industry and as a student pilot, because you're going to spend a long time both as a student and as a flight instructor building hours so you can be ready to be hired by an airline. That's why we built our Flex Air program the way that we have. Our SkillBridge program is all about knowing yourself having a plan, and finding a mentor. We deliver all of these things in our programming in, Flex in FlexAir's SkillBridge program. So this is the point at which during a normal webinar, we would get some reps in about networking and connecting with your fellow SkillBridge applicants. And what we would do is we'd go through a round of introductions. And the way that we do this uh, in order to get people ready for an online interview environment is to say, hey, introduce yourself with your name, where you're calling in today, and what your interest in aviation is today. And the real uh, uh, technique item that you need to remember in the civilian world is to keep it very brief and snappy. Try to make a brief connection and then move on because you're going to be in many interview panels that are going to be just like this format where you're going to have to hold your own with a bunch of other civilians and folks who are very experienced in an interview format. So with that, we'll get to the introductions. All right. Well, welcome back, everybody, from those introductions. Let's get back into the brief. So I'm going to talk about today your journey to becoming an airline pilot. This is something at FlexAir that we call the pilot pathway. You start out as a student where for about 12 months, you'll obtain all of the licenses you need. The private pilot license, instrument rating, commercial rating, CFI and CFII. Those are flight instructor ratings and your aircraft multi-engine land rating. After that, You'll be eligible for hire as a flight instructor where in as little as 12 months you can build the 1500 flight hours that you need to be hired by any entry-level airline or corporate or charter job our hire rate in flex air skill bridge is 100 we have placed 100 of our uh, graduating veterans into careers in aviation and then finally your career as an airline pilot is going to last until the mandatory retirement age of 65. Our higher rate into this field as well is 100%. You can expect to see as an individual pilot, you can expect lifetime earnings that are as much as $15 million. So this is a career field with an income up there with doctors, dentists, lawyers, engineers. It's a very, very highly rewarded career field. Now, SkillBridge is a great first step in your training. Your first step on the pilot pathway can be SkillBridge where you're going to, for as much as six months, receive full active duty pay and benefits. It's a fantastic benefit. Now, you need to also consider the value of speed. Because you have a mandatory retirement age at 65, then that means that you want to try to get to your first airline hire in as little as 24 months. This is because each month of delay costs you over $30,000 of lifetime income. And also remember that you do not need a college diploma in order to get your initial hire as an airline pilot. So you don't need to make a stop in college for four years to, uh, to get to the airlines. Keep that in mind. Well, let's talk about the program that we run for you and veterans just like you at FlexAir. This is called the SkillBridge Commercial Pilot Gateway. At FlexAir, 
You can start in San Diego at the Montgomery Gibbs Airport, MYF Airport. We will take you at zero time or with a private pilot's license if you've already attained one. This is a partnership with Miramar College where you'll be able to use your GI Bill plus your VRE benefits to pay for your flight training and for the ground school associated with your flight training. We do not offer housing at our San Diego location. We also have a SkillBridge Kansas option. This is based at the Johnson County Executive Airport, OJC Airport, south of Kansas City. We can take you at any experience level, whether you're a beginner or an advanced pilot. We take all GI Bill and VRE benefits at this uh, flight school location, and we do offer student housing for around $1,400 a month. And then we have a SkillBridge RTP. That is a rotary wing transition program for military helicopter pilots who are looking to transition to the airlines. We offer this training at our MHK airport location in Manhattan, uh, which is about two hours to the west of Kansas City. This rotary wing transition allows you to use VRE funds. If you want to go to the uh, Kansas City location, you can also use your GI Bill uh, funds as well in our RTP program. We offer student housing for $800 a month at our Manhattan location. So let's talk about Skillbridge San Diego. Skillbridge San Diego is run in concert with Miramar College. And in the SkillBridge San Diego program, let's walk through the monthly income and your costs that you'll incur if you use your VA benefits. And these are estimates. Your, benefit, uh, your benefits are very personal to you. So your VA counselor is the first and final say on how much benefits you're going to get. We're going to advise you, but you need to realize these are estimated. So first thing, as a student, during up to six months in uh, SkillBridge, you can either work on your private pilot license, or if you already have that, you can knock out your instrument rating. You're going to draw full active duty pay and benefits, including your housing allowance. You're going to incur zero cost at this time. Then you're going to move on to nine months of being a student as a civilian. You're going to put on your civvies and you're going to walk across the street to Miramar College. You're going to continue your flight training either at Flex Air for the instrument rating or at any other San Diego flight uh, school. You can transfer to any flight school after your SkillBridge term is complete. If you want to do all of your training on the GI Bill at uh, Flex Air, you'll have to spend the final three months of your training at our OJC location for an accelerated syllabus. During this time while you're in San Diego, you're going to draw nearly $3,800 in tax-free dollars a month and you're gonna incur zero cost. Then as a flight instructor, you're gonna work for up to a year or more at any flight school in the San Diego area or around the country. We preferentially do hire SkillBridge graduates into our flight school at Flex Air, so you'd be welcome to work here as a flight instructor as well. As a flight instructor, you can expect to pull in $2,900 to $3,800 a month, Plus, as you continue your enrollment at Miramar College, you're going to continue to draw about $3,792 a month in tax-free military housing allowance. That's from your GI Bill. At this point, you're going to incur $150 a month in costs as you begin to re repay the uh, costs of your private pilot license that you got at the beginning of our program. That's because the GI Bill and VRE do not pay for the private pilot license, but we have a loan that will allow you to defer these costs until you've got your first paid job uh, as a pilot. And then finally, here's the gravy train for you as an airline pilot. You can work at any airline, any corporate or cargo operator once you get to 1,500 flight hours anywhere in the U.S. You're going to pull in $7,900 to $9,000 or more a month. And if you use this uh, SkillBridge Pilot Pathway loan in order to pay for your private pilot license, that loan is only going to cost you $300 a month for this and the remainder term of the loan while you're working as an airline pilot. So that's SkillBridge San Diego. Let's talk about SkillBridge Kansas. So in the SkillBridge Kansas program, we can also map out for you your monthly income and your costs with VA benefits. These are estimated. Just remember that your VA counselor is the first and final word on how much of a benefit you're going to get. Now, as a student in FlexAir SkillBridge, you're going to work uh, for up to six months on active duty pay and uh, housing allowance as you work to become an airline pilot. You're going to train either with private pilot license or an instrument rating during this time. You're going to draw your full income and you're going to incur zero cost. Then you're going to move on to six months as a civilian student. 
At this point, you'll earn all of your remaining ratings through CFII and your multi-engine ticket. At this point, you're going to be pulling in $1,900 or more a month in a military housing allowance that is tax-free, and that's by drawing on your VA benefits, your VRNE benefits. You're going to incur zero cost during this portion of your curriculum. Then you're going to move on to become a flight instructor. You can work at any flight school in any location around the U.S. If you decide to remain with us and work with us at uh, Flex Air or anywhere else around the country, it's your choice. Flight instructors can expect to make between $2,900 to $3,800 a month. And during this time, you'll be paying $150 a month out of pocket as you re uh, repay the cost of that loan that you took out for your private pilot license. Because remember, the private pilot license is not paid for by any VA program, but a loan is available to cover that at FlexAir. And then finally, becoming an airline pilot is your end goal here. And you can work at any airline, corporate, or cargo operator around the country as long as you have 1,500 flight hours of time, which you get by becoming a flight instructor in the previous year. As an airline pilot, you're going to make $7,900 to $9,000 a month, and you're going to only pay $300 a month as you repay that loan uh, that you use to take out the costs of your private pilot license. Fuelbridge RTP is also available for rotary wing pilots with military experience. In the Skillbridge RTP program, we have an RTP loan that uh, covers the costs that are not picked up by VA benefits. It can be tough to use your VA benefits to pay for an RTP syllabus, which is why we've set up this Skillbridge RTP loan. So as a student, you're going to spend four months picking up, if required, your private pilot license and your instrument rating and your aircraft single engine, single engine land rating. That is typically for Army pilots, for Navy, Marine Corps, and Coast Guard pilots. This four months is typically not required. Then it will take you about two months for all rotary wing pilots, regardless of service. Uh, they're all usually going to need their aircraft, multi-engine land, and commercial ticket. This takes about two months, and it's available only at Skillbridge, Kansas, at our MHK location. You'll be drawing full active duty uh, income during this time, and you'll incur zero costs out of pocket on our loan program. Optionally, if you already have a CFI rating and you want to build hours as a flight instructor at no cost, you can do that with us in FlexAir SkillBridge. Again, during this time, you'll be drawing full active duty pay and benefits, and you'll incur no out-of-pocket costs if you're working as a CFI. And then finally, as an airline pilot, you'll be eligible for hire as an airline pilot within four to six months of going through this, uh, starting this program. You'll be eligible for hire at any airline across the country. Your pay is going to be $7,900 to $9,000 a month. If you've taken out the Skillbridge RTP loan, your out-of-pocket cost is going to be about $450 per month in this situation. Now, just keep in mind that our aircraft single engine land and time build is available at all of our bases, but the multi-engine work is available at the MHK airport only. That's the Manhattan Regional Airport, about two hours west of Kansas City. Now, let's talk about using your VA benefits. This can be quite complicated. You need to first remember that the GI Bill does not cover any private pilot license training. Uh, you don't need a disability rating in order to claim your GI Bill, but realize that it is limited to $15,000 per year for use in flight training. And you're not going to receive any kind of a housing allowance on the GI Bill unless you're enrolled in a four-year college program or some two-year college programs. Now, let's compare that with another benefit that a lot of folks don't know about. This is Veterans Readiness and Education, VR&E. VR&E benefits are available for folks who have a 20% disability rating and no more. You get the best outcomes with this benefit if you're at 20% and not much higher than that for reasons I'll get to in a moment. But realize that VR&E does not cover your private pilot license training. It does not have an annual funding limit, which makes it a great benefit, and it gives you full military housing allowance, a tax-free housing allowance based on your zip code for all of the time that you're enrolled in flight training. So the recommended way to use these things is first to draw on your GI Bill because it's available immediately and does not require an extended eligibility and filing period. Then to immediately file your paperwork for VR&E after you separate from active duty. And it will take several months for VR&E to land. But once it does, it will pick up where your GI Bill leaves off. 
Now let's talk about an FAA class one medical exam. This is required before you report to any aircraft training event at Flexair. You need to use caution when you're claiming your VA disability benefits because those could affect your ability to keep and maintain an FAA class one medical. So use extreme caution when you're claiming VA disability benefits for any type of mental or behavioral health treatment or disorder, any kind of sleep disorder, any kind of post-traumatic stress, or in any case where you have a disability level that is significantly above 20%. You only need 20% to unlock your VRE benefit. If you have a lot more than that, you could put your ability to maintain a class one medical at risk. And this is new news as of January of 2023. So if you've got some gouge that says claim the maximum, you need to be very, very careful of that because things have changed very rapidly and the FAA and the VA are now actively clo cooperating and trading data between their two organizations. So just be smart about how you claim this benefit. Okay, how much does this program cost? Well, for SkillBridge, first of all, every service member is going to receive a detailed training proposal and a training cost estimate with exact numbers. These are estimates. You need to, first of all, remember that the GI Bill or VRE, they cover some costs, but you're going to need a loan or a payment plan of some kind for the rest. There are always out-of-pocket costs for any type of flight school training, even if you're using the GI Bill. The only way to get zero out-of-pocket costs, as I've said in emails to many of you, uh, is that you need to just go to a four-year college. But if you're in a hurry and you wanna take the minimum possible time, you need to be ready to incur some, but not many, out-of-pocket costs. So here's how it works in FlexAir SkillBridge. We have a SkillBridge Pilot Pathway loan where you're not going to pay anything out of pocket until you get hired in your first job as a pilot. We also have a SkillBridge payment plan for those folks who don't want to pay any interest or financing fees. That is $1,000 per month. It's good for one rating, either PPL or instrument, and 0% APR, zero uh, financing fees, no credit check required. We only extend this payment plan to SkillBridge candidates. If you're only going to get your PPL and then move on to another school, it's going to cost about $18,000 out of pocket, a little bit less if you go to Kansas. And if you're an RTP candidate, for Army RTP folks, the program typically costs $47,000 or less. For Navy, Marine Corps, and Coast Guard RTP candidates, you should keep a $35,000 cost target um, uh, in your scan pattern. Now, we do have a loan program. It's called the SkillBridge RTP Pathway. And this, again, uh, doesn't require you to pay any money until you get your first hire at your first airline. And there are also no early repayment penalties. So this loan is a great way to just avoid putting all of these costs on your credit card. And at this point, we normally get to additional questions and Q&A, which typically goes on for 20 to 30 to sometimes 45 minutes. We answer every single question uh, either there in the webinar or offline via email and text. Today, you're just going to have to listen to my recording, but uh, I want to encourage you to, if you can, attend a, a live webinar in order to get your questions answered in a one-on-one -on -one type of environment. So what do your next steps look like? Well, if you've already applied to SkillBridge, first of all, keep in mind that it's mandatory that you need to obtain an FAA Class 1 medical before you check in with us. You also need to be very proactive with your chain of command. The paperwork drill with your chain of command is a very difficult part of SkillBridge. I will say that perhaps 10%, 8 to 10% of people who express an interest in our SkillBridge actually successfully get into it. I don't know where the other 90% of the skill bridgers go. I do know that there are people who really wanted an airline career, but for some reason, they let the paperwork run them over. So you need to be very, very proactive about this. You need to be willing to be the squeaky wheel with your chain of command. Okay, if you are a brand new pilot with zero flight hours, you need to also study for the PAR exam. That is the Private Pilot Airplane Written Exam. That is an FAA administered exam that you need to challenge and take and pass within six weeks of checking in with us. So if you can work ahead and study ahead, I highly recommend that. And then finally, you need to be on your email. That is the only way that we can communicate with folks downrange in every single time zone. So you need to make sure that goflexair.com is not going to your spam folder. So keep an eye out for emails from me and from the team. You'll receive step-by-step -step instructions. And if you want a checklist of exactly what to do, you should apply. 
Just apply. There's no obligation. You will receive step-by-step -step instructions that are customized to your service branch and situation. Now, what do you do if you're in that 90% of people who, for some reason, either get their request denied or they just run out of time and they can't quite make it into Flexair SkillBridge? No problem. We will still work with you. You should continue to fight for SkillBridge even when you're down to your last day prior to your EAS, because what you're doing is you're continuing to knock out all of the paperwork that you need to do to get ready to become a pilot. Keep studying, keep seeing in communication with us, keep researching your VA benefits. We will take you at any time, whether you're on active duty or you're separated, you get access to the same loans, the same programming, the same mentorship at any time. Your spouses and dependents are also eligible for this program. We have made this program open to any veteran who wants to become an airline pilot or any type of professional pilot. We'll take your DD-214 and that's all we need. So what's the first step here? If you have not yet done this, point your phone at this QR code or go to goflexair.com skillbridge, submit an information request. We're gonna request a lot of information on your background. That allows us to put together a customized template, which it has all the information that you need, whether it's on the GI Bill, whether it's on other types of payment and scholarship programs, we have plenty of resources for you and we wanna share. We just need to hear from you at goflexair.com skillbridge. And that is it. Thank you very much for your time and attention in this brief here today. If you have any feedback or any additional questions, please don't try to call us. Our calls are, uh, you know, our, our phone number is used for flight operations and uh, we get over a hundred SkillBridge applicants every month, sometimes even more. So we cannot answer your individual calls. That's what this webinar is for. Send an email to our team. I promise you a human reads every single email and puts together a very measured and detailed response to every single one of your questions. We're just going to challenge you to do the research on your own as well. So we'll give you plenty of resources. We want to help. But at the end of the day, it is your career as well. So we encourage you to get after it. We are here to help and good hunting in your airline career.